Hello, my name is Vesetikali, and welcome back to Fran Bow. We were left off just before we went back into the Antonio the Greatest house. He eats meat, yes. At least we know that. I shouldn't take other stuff, but I want super glue for the attachment. Oh, to attach the door frame. So if I go glue to this and this to the door. I made a door! I wonder it will, where it will lead me to. What else have we got? This is odd. I thought ants never cook their meals. Apparently they do. Hmm. Tea time, sir. Can I take this? Um, what is this? Underpants? Certainly wasn't wearing. There is water in the sink. Is hygienic, I suppose? I wish I could sleep with my kitty on this bed. Oh. You wouldn't mind if I take a little meat for the, for those who hunger. What about myself? Can I get down? Oh, goody's torch. What a cozy little lamp. This little house. <laughs> the light guards. Oh, <laughs> sir, you look so angry. Wow, you are very rare. Little fine cone, what are you cooking? <laughs> Baby pine cone, he fell down. Don't fall off the chair, be careful. Ooh, the blueberries. Ow, that hurts. So I can't stop it, you bad pine cone. I need the berries. Can I. Looks like I take the pills. Pill time. Ooh, the exterminator lost. Oh, can I click? Uh, can I click on you? Oh my goodness! A pest exterminator, and he's dead. Sir, you have tons of ants on you. I think they are trying to steal your bag. I'm not taking that bag. Not with all these ants on it. Maybe if I give them in the meat, because Antonio likes meat. What do? You, yep, they like meat too. Awesome! It worked. Now this bag is mine. Can I examine? The bag shows an anti-bug sign. Hmm, the bag is open. Use. Oh, a trap. It's some sort of card. Exterminator. John Plummet. Um, the text is almost gone. I take it you are John Plummet? Okay, pills off. So do I use the trap for this one? Uh, if I go trap, use on you. Okay. Do I have to try this? Ha! I got you, sorry sir, but I really need the berries. Wow, you're very rare. Oh, now she's been a pest. Ah, now the mama sitting me. Bad mama, so I knock down her. And grab it. Grab, grab, grab. Yes, yes, I got them. They smell delicious. Ooh. Okay. So, back to un... Oh, hello. I speak... Bye. <laughs> Okay, so then, back to Antonio the Greatest. So... Did you kill the beetle plague already? It, I can't smell the fresh flesh. I am supposed to give it to the beetle pig. Oh, you pig. Did you eat my cat? So now I can do this. What? Oh, look at the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rat. What? You are not my cat. Oh, miss, you saved me from misery. Death. Good for you. <laughs> but where is Mr. Midnight? I assume that you are feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? What is the point of everything now? I was looking for my cat. Oh, Miss Lady, I'm not very fond of cats, you know. I wonder why. A black one with very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. Really? You seem to get in trouble often. Wait, maybe he is my cat. Oh, my lady, if he is, then he's the one in trouble now. Why? M what happened? I can show you. Follow me, please. It's not far from here. You will 
Looks like two legs. Not right here. Here we are. Somebody took a mess. They just disappeared. Oh my goodness. Could you be more specific? I wish I could. I looked at the air swallowed them. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. Excuse me, did you steal a hair comb from those bobbling heads? Oh, the hair comb. A shiny, beautiful comb. Can I have it, please? Alright then. <laughs> but can you please comb my hair first? No! Yeah, sure, why not? Yes, I can comb your hair. Uh, thank you, my lady. You are very kind. Do you have any idea how to find my kitty? It depends, my lady. Have you looked around enough to find him? Do you know the person who took my cat? Oh, my dear lady miss, I wish I could help you. For those who took your cat seem to be from another world, just like why I am. Maybe they had like a portal that nobody else can see, who knows? A portal? What is a portal? A portal, lady miss, is like a regular door, I think. I see. Thank you, rat. Bye-bye. So, back to the bubbling heads. I'm very sorry, Beetle Pig. I wish I didn't kill you. But you are dead now, so you can't hear me. I really want to find Mr. Midnight. Yeah, oh, it. Kill time. Can I get a key now? Have you found the filthy rat yet? Go, find him, and bring us our comb back. Supposed to use it. Use, use the comb. Here's your beautiful comb, misters. Wow. Very happy. Oh, you grand person. You finally did it! Hope the key opens the door you wish to open. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye. Okay, give me a key. Grab the key. I know you're happy. Oh, beautiful. Goodbye, shiny misters. Have a nice trip. Okay, take the key now. I got the key! The key, the key, oh the wonderful key, the golden key from the tree. So, do we make, do we do our makeshift door? Plop it there. This is really odd, what was that? Ah, open! Why are you closed? I made you! I command you to open! I am your creator. I guess the door won't listen, because it, it doesn't have ears. So, the key. Open. It worked. Woohoo! In I go. Through the rabbit hole we go. What a curious little door. Curious and curious. I wonder where it will lead me to Wonderland. Mr. Midnight, are you here? No, but there's someone's behind you. Oh, okay. Spoil me. Hey, why don't you? Hmm. Chapter 2, Part 2. Double Personality. I'm being treated like a cat. Oh my goodness, where am I? What? What is this? A hat? Mr. Midnight? Oh no, your head! Kitty? Wait just a second. This is not my kitty. What a weird hat. You're being treated as a kitty. This is the anyways I have. I Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new hip bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love Clara and Mia. They even left raw meat for me. That's that's what she eats. It's fun to see what people have in their homes. All sorts. Are those eyes? My skull? Hmm, a head from a human, I guess. You're just way too accepting of this. You really are. A cooker to cook. My mummy told me how to use this. I don't like to light matches, though. What else can I have? Mmm, yummy. Cookies in all colors and flavors. Honey bear, you taste fabulous. Flower makes me sneeze, but that is a funny feeling. Baking soda. K 
King Leo's baking soda. It's always good for us. A pine cone. I don't care. Don't dare to touch it. Maybe it will attack me. Can I get a spoon? I don't have soup. I don't need a spoon. To dry my little hands. A knife. Oh, a sharp, shiny knife. It could be good to have you. Spatula. It sounds like Dracula, but in a spa. In a spa? What's this? Firewood. To keep the chimney warm. Why is this colored out? Ooh. Mr. Midnight? Those girls. They took my kitty. Oh. Why? Yeah, why is it painted black and white? A painting of a teapot with painted tea inside. I close the window so the cold wind stays out. I open the window so the cold wind comes in. Can I take a pills? Pill time. I'm in a well. Hello, little baby. What are you doing here? Nobody loves you, but you're so pretty. I like you. At least you're on the wall, like a picture, so everyone can see you. Oh, I see you have it comfortable there, little baby. Did your money, mummy drop you? You seem fresh. Are you still alive? You're a clever little baby. You took your placenta with you. Oh god, is that what that was? What's up here? What's this rock thingy? Oh, not in a bottle. I obviously cannot reach that. A secret bottle with a secret inside. I'm very curious right now. What could it be? But I can't reach it. I can't get there from here. I need a bridge. Bridge. So I'm looking for wood. There's wood right there. Firewood. Poor trees. I wonder if they scream all the time while they are burning. Well, that's very interesting thought process. Matches? I have matches to light up the darkness. Or just for fun. They don't smell. They must be plastic flowers then. Old houses. Oh, creepy. And the bag smells funny. I won't touch it. I don't like beans that much. I do. Salt. A very good ingredient. What's this? This smells like a weed we had in our garden. Ooh. Oh, it opened. And what is that inside? Spud. What an odd little thing. It looks like a seed. I wonder who mushes because he owns all the mushrooms. <laughs> what a pretty can. I won't take somebody else's food. Not all of it anyway. Oats. More beans. And rice. Pepper. Salt and pepper. Are we making soup? Always good to dress up the soup. If there's garlic, there are no vampires. Okay, okay. Olives. Kitty likes to play with olives. I guess he thinks they are insects. Squirrels' body parts? I don't want to know. Of all the things you don't want to know about that. Pictures of meat? This doesn't bring me any good memories. Is that teddy bear bleeding? Oh, a dancing teddy. It doesn't have shoes. It looks like a plant. Indeed. I could turn it on. I could turn it off. The window is locked. Great. Hmm, very great. Wow. Don't eat the food. Do not eat the food. And never eat food just lying out. Is that the house we're in? In the middle of nowhere in the ocean. So these are the Clara and Mia. Oh, this is not my cup. The teapot has no tea at all. Delicious and beautiful. That cake looks absolutely yummy. Chocolate cake. My favorite, should I? No, it's never a good idea to do things like that. Now I understand what the deer want back in the hospital. They want to be hanged up. A monster who likes goats. Similar to the one that, ooh, okay. A broom to fly away or just to clean around. What's in here? A drawer opened. Let me see what's inside. Black candles to light up the darkness. The sisters, they look alike. Twins. Red roses in a painting, huh? Through here. Ooh, they're decrepit. Oh, baby. Baby faces. Baby faces. Oh, okay. They're obsessed with babies. A mirror. But why? Hello? Huh? This mirror doesn't do its job. No reflection. It has a little keyhole. Maybe it's just decor. Maybe? Why tweezers? To pick up things that my little hands can't. Message in the bottle. Hmm. The perfume smells like teenagers? Well. 
Ugh, these toys are so ugly. Hello doll, who caught you? Hanging by its neck. I hope this never happens to me. I'll lay down and sleep tight when I get back home. Candles, white candles everywhere. It's that monster. That's so much blood. Oh yeah, so it is. Ooh, pillow time. Oh. Okay. Okay, to the left. Why would I want to stay here? Oh my goodness. That smell. Never mind the ghost. This smell is horrible. Poor girl. Who could have done this? I need to be careful and protect my kitty and myself. Antonio the Greatest. Antonio the Greatest. Ooh. Huh? Wait a minute. Is that the big ant from the woods? It could be him, only a bit younger. She used to be a big superstar. Hello, Owl. There are many books and things on the shelf. Owls and cats are a bit alike. A bit alike? One's on the floor and one's flying about. Oh, a typewriter. And it works. Can I go outside? Can I go up these stairs? The stairs ends up in a wall. Maybe that was the door I made, and now it disappeared. Possibly. Many tidy paintings. And there is a cat. Right. So we're gonna go back up. In this? Did she reach that? She couldn't have reached the key at the start to get into the office, but she can reach that. Right. Okay. Ooh. Dark. Why? Oh, hello, little babies. Who we'll suit you two together? It looks like it hurts. Don't cry, all right? Okay. Stop. Please stop that. <laughs> a bunny. Ooh. Do you lay? Do you lay eggs, or do you steal them from a chicken? How do eggs become chocolate eggs? So much to ask you. I wish you could answer me. Shoes. These shoes are too big for me. I know that wrestling. Are those the twins again? R really old looking. Come on. What a pretty doll. I like the hairstyle. Just one hat. Yes. I like my own dress. But those are pretty too. The toys in the attic always carry sadness within them. Ooh, rat. I met another rat a while ago. It's a rat. Are you tired, sir? Huh? Why do they keep killing my fox? Foxy, oh no. I wish I could take you out of here. Okay, I'm just gonna... Mr. Midnight, are you here, kitty? Meow. Mr. Midnight, don't be scared. I'm here for you. Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally! It's me! Come closer, please! Let me see you! Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I missed you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Penknight, and I really missed you. Oh dear, Fran. How did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh my dear, I will open this cage. We need to get to Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. I'm tired too, but at least now we can take care of each other. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight. What is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. 
Ruby. What kind of presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. <laughs> That's real magic. Great to have somebody else taking care of us. Fran, did you hear that? Did you? I didn't hear anything. Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you, alright? I love you. Go on, Fran. Please, get me out of this cage. Find the key. But I have nothing. Well, I suppose. How could I make soup? How could I make soup? How could I make soup into a key? Well, hello there. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? It's right here. It's right here. Waiting for me? Why? You, the precious being from another world. Who would ever believe us? Sorry, but I can't make sense of what you are saying. Fran Bo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? Slow down. How is it that you know all this? We just know. We have to. Because it's the plot. We, ha we are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us, all the time. I wish I was at home with mommy and daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. Yes, but the pain I feel is so great, I can't see solutions. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Thank you, but really, I need to know, who told you these things about me? Are you scared, little friend? Confused? Of course not. I'm just curious, that's all. I'm mostly confused. I haven't asked about your cat. You, you haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. Why not? That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet, you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I'm not calm. I just want to introduce myself. I'm not a rude person. You want him back? I want you to unlock the cage. He is hungry and thirsty. Please, before we set him free, Tell us about how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They opened the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret and I was clever enough to find a way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug and it was terrible. And I'm boring her because she took a sip of her, 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 her tea. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door, and that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah, and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. And I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now here I am, looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm 10 years old, but I have to turn 11 soon. And you? We are 16 years old. Much older than you, so you have to obey us. Not that much older, really. I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked our names. That is not polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. I'm not stupid. I do have a family. I have Aunt Grace and my kitty. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Yes, ladies. I'll do whatever you need. Good. Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Yes, Annie also did magic, but she didn't have any idea how to actually do it. Anyway, this magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. 
Here is the recipe. Be cautious and precise. Otherwise, terrible things can happen. Summon the Illuminati. Do it yourselves. Why can't you do it yourselves? We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But how is it you are like this now? Sound together. One night, a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later, when we are not attached to each other anymore, and show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. That sounds very scary, but I guess I'll have to do this for my kitty. We are going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go and talk to your cat. But we won't set him free yet. Don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, we will help him. This sounds fair to me. I'll be waiting for you. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what could be open with it? Can you? You silly, silly girl. The cage. What did this say? Examine. Summon the old lost body. Lost in darkness, lost in tears. Your body becomes alive through the hand of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need five items. This must be cooked all, to all together inside a pot or a cauldron with plenty of water. When you are about to drink the potion, repeat these words. Manaambu kasine o manai. Erbun er eber esh eberman kansnai mabuka erbore fewern fewern heart of a frog the head of a young virgin Ooh, so that would be that wet woman on the floor hair and blood from a black cat from Mr. Midnight a pentagram made of ashes ashes the burnt body of a fox so that's what happened to the rest of the fox. So, uh, hello, bony face. It's him again, but I haven't taken my pills. While well, he opened the window, thank you. But who is he? Bony face. Clearly, he is bony face. And there is a frog. Or toad. I am not sure. A rusty old bicycle in the middle of the island. I don't think it would take me very far. Hey, you. Yes? Who's speaking? Me. I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Yes? What is it? You are in great danger. No kidding. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl. I'm a toad, and I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and cat magnet. They love us, but not to give us love, just to use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? Yes, they did. Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that could be you if you tried to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. But what should I do then? I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Huh? Creative? I'll try to do my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. Did you find a solution already? I am mentally stuck. I don't know what to do. I'm mentally stuck. I know you are something that makes you see things that others can't. Who told you that? I'm a talking toad. Is that normal? I don't think so. But you can talk to me. That makes you special. It's logical. I never thought of it, but you are right. Please help me. Have you seen everything? Maybe you're missing some messages. I'll see what I can find. I mean, out here. Throw time! Again, with this girl. Who are you? My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. Doubters need the truth on paper. 
doubters. I guess some people believe you when it's written down. I suppose that's quite true. There's nothing but water around this house, and veins by the looks of it. Those are. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to stop this video here. If you liked it, press the like button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.